Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we're gonna to be making egg rolls. I have all my ingredients and stuff right there. So I have two orders of egg rolls that I need to make. I need to make some for my son and then make some for a friend of mine that used to work with me at, <laughs> my kids are like, and me. Um, so whatever I have left over, I'll feed my family. But these are the egg rolls that we usually make for different events. So if I ask um, what they want for their birthday meal, a lot of them will say either my egg rolls or enchiladas or whatever. So I am sharing with you guys my famous egg rolls. Um, Lauren also has mentioned that I should open up a food truck and sell my egg rolls. So I used to work at a Chinese place, uh, I think it was like 19 years old, and I was taught how to make egg rolls. But when I started making egg rolls, I actually found a recipe, and I don't even use the recipe anymore, I just do whatever. So when we originally started making the egg, what gauge? You, you, you don't make them up, you still use them. Well, yeah, but now I'm not using the recipe anymore to make oh, the them. Other... Yeah, I just do my own thing now. So when I originally started making these egg rolls, uh, when my daughter was home, she helped me make the egg rolls. So she liked cooking and stuff with me. And I had her cut up like um, the cabbage and stuff. So we are completely cheating when we do egg rolls now. I don't do any of the cutting up stuff. The only thing that I cut up is my onion. So everything else is already done. Like I have the mixed uh, tricolor, whatever, coleslaw, green cabbage, carrots, and red cabbage. Um, I have my carrots because I add more cat or more carrots. I add water chestnuts, garlic, salt, pepper, soy sauce. And in the past, I've used ground pork. Um, and sometimes I can't always get that. So then I have ground turkey and it same, it um, tastes the same. And probably ground turkey is probably better, I don't know. But, um, so I need to make 50 for my son, 25 for a friend, and then whatever I have left over is gonna be for the family. Um, I don't have the wraps in front of me right now. I just go to Walmart and get the regular egg roll wraps, but I'll show you that later. But I'm gonna share with you guys how I make it. It is super easy. It's just more or less, you're just throwing it in a big pot, cooking it. And there's the only thing that you gotta focus on is just cooking up the meat. Everything else is just gonna get cooked down. Um, I used to use my wok for everything when I made this, uh, but then I would have to clean it out and have another or clean it out and then use it and I don't want to do that anymore so I have this big pan that I try to cook everything in sometimes I have to use two different containers and then I have my um, wok open for me to be able to put the egg rolls in so I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to make these uh, if you guys make your own egg rolls let me know in the comments down below and let me know uh, what you guys do for them if you guys use like special wraps i know some people will just go to the asian um food stores and they'll pick up the extra thin ones i think they are and i've never tried them um for my egg rolls and i'm sure they're really good because i've tried other people what um when they made their egg rolls and they were really good using them wraps but i just use the regular ones from walmart and I'll share that with you guys later. So for uh, one batch of egg rolls, I would just use one pound and then probably like two bags of the cabbage, you know, maybe like a little extra of the carrots and then probably one can of water chestnuts and then everything else you're just kind of doing to taste. Um, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you up on a tripod and then I'll be able to talk to you guys a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna cut up the onion quick and do that really fast and then I'll show you what we do next.
So when I cook up the meat for this recipe, I do the salt and pepper and the onion and that's all I put in here. I don't saute my onions and I don't saute my garlic. I've done that in the past and they end up turning, well, they end up getting burnt and I don't want it to look like that. So I add the garlic later after I'm almost done with cooking up the meat. When the meat is almost done, that's when I add the garlic and the soy sauce. So I'm gonna cook this up really quick and then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. I've been dreaming now about you Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate Anytime you're beside me, yeah It's what you do to me I can barely breathe Okay, so now I'm just gonna add the water chestnuts to it. If you want to cut yours up, you can cut them up. I'm just going to add them like this and kind of chop them into the meat. Oh yeah? Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just add my bags of cabbage um, to this and then I just cook it down so that I have more room. Just because I wanna be able to get all of this in this one pan. So we're gonna see if we can do that. I'm doing a little bit more than I usually do so I might not be able to get it all in here. So we'll see. And then eventually I add more soy sauce just because I don't add water or anything in here. All right. And I don't cut any of this up either. Where in the past I had to cut up everything and it was such a pain in the butt. One more. One, or well, yeah. And then I just mix it together. the last bag of cabbage to this now I just need to cook it it is like reduced in size so I was able to get all of the bags in here and I have it on well we have a gas stove so I've been on a number three so a low medium heat and if you guys are making smaller portions just like the one batch you ain't gonna need a big pot like this. When we made them originally, we only started out with one batch and we gradually grew um, to making more and more. I actually should do this more often and just freeze our egg rolls or make up a batch of this and just freeze this. And then when we're ready for egg rolls, I just thaw it out. Only because we make it so many times in a year. I don't make it often enough for where we would like to probably have them so when i do make this it's kind of a treat for everyone so i'm done cooking it down to where i want it i don't need to cook it to where it's completely soft just because we're going to be deep frying them so what i do is i take some out if my granddaughter is here um i take some out for her and then i also take some out for one of my kids because they can't have peanut butter so peanut butter is one of the things that I add um, to my egg rolls. Um, and that's exactly what we did when I worked at that restaurant. 
is we added peanut butter to our egg rolls. So you don't need to add peanut butter. You could add almond butter if you would like to. We just like the taste of peanut butter in our egg rolls. So I add it when it's nice and hot, just so it can melt through the whole thing. And you can add as much as you want. I could actually add more to this. what I'm gonna do with this for right now I'm gonna to try to break this up into like different bowls so it can cool it down usually I would roll them right away but I need to go somewhere so I'm just gonna let this cool down and I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then tomorrow we're gonna to come back and I'm gonna wrap them I'm gonna show you guys how we wrap them and then how we deep fry them I got 20 egg rolls out of one of these. Now I'm gonna see if they have it measured out the same for each one. I never counted them before. So I'm assuming that there's 20 in each packet and I'm gonna get around 100 egg rolls. I probably, if I have any more mix, then I'm gonna go to the store and get more wraps because that only leaves me and the family 25 egg rolls for us and we want more. So I need to do the order first, like my son's order and then my friend's order first. And then um, we'll see how much I have left with the mix that I have. one batch in the wok. This is how my setup is. I eventually need a new wok. I told the bigger kids that maybe for Christmas or something, I need another one or a bigger one because I do these, I don't know, a couple times a year and it would be nice to just have a newer one. Um, I have my son's order is right here. So these are not cooked yet, but I just have them um, um, sectioned off. This is for my friend. I have some of them done already. So I'm just gonna put them here, let them cool, and then I'm gonna bag them up for her. And then I have to cook these and that is her order also. So on here, I just get my oil nice and hot and then kind of test it out. If you guys are have already, you know, cooked with oil and deep fried, you kind of know how to do it. So, um, but that's what I do. And then I just leave them in for a little bit until they're lightly browned and then I take them out.
my first order done. So this is gonna be for my friend for today. She's gonna to come and pick it up. So I got that done. And then I have to move on to my son's now. So I need 50 egg rolls for him. And then I just did 25 for my friend. And then whatever we have extra is gonna be ours. So I forgot to mention the ones that are uh, peanut butter free for my uh, one of my boys, I fry up his first in the oil first because he can't have peanut butter. So I do his completely separate. I do, I make sure that I do the allergy people um, first and that's why I have his over here because his are done. He doesn't have a high sensitivity to peanut butter anymore, but um, we don't want to chance it. So we just do his separate and then all of my other ones have peanut butter in it. So I got Blaine's order right here. That's my oldest boy. He wanted 50 egg rolls, so I got his all done. And I have a couple right here for us. We're just starting lunch right now, so we're gonna be eating this. And then I'm gonna pack these up as soon as they're cooled, and he's gonna come tonight and come and get them. Sorry for the fan noise, but I gotta keep it on right now while I make the egg rolls. So I only have a couple more in here, and I am done with all the egg rolls for right now. Lauren had to go get me more wraps for the other ones for us for later. So I think I made over a hundred egg rolls and I got them all, all done until I do the next little batch. So that's not a big deal, um, but they turned out pretty good. They taste pretty good. So if you guys are interested, I'll put the recipe down in the description and you guys can go check it out and see if you guys like it. Let me know if you guys end up trying it. Come back and leave a comment if you guys end up trying it and let me know if you guys like them. What we do with our egg rolls is I just cook up some instant rice. Usually I'm not gonna be doing that today, um, but we'll do that. And then we eat ours or some of us eat ours with soy sauce and sriracha because we like them spicy. So you can add that to them um, later when you're eating them. So. All right, so hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.